Hey guys, King Isaac here, also known as M. Thank you very much for tuning into episode 4 of King Tutorials. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Minecraft Forge from Minecraft 1.10.2. It's a very quick and simple installation that, that will only take around 1 to 3 minutes to install. Um, first of all, we're going to actually have to download Minecraft Forge, and you can do that by pressing on the link in the description down below. It should take you to files.minecraftforge.net, uh, and it should also take you directly to the 1.10.2 download page. So once you press on the link, it should take you to this page and then you're going to want to press on download latest or download recommended. In my case, I've downloaded the latest version of Minecraft Forge and as I am on the Windows 10 platform, uh, you, uh, I'd recommend you download the installer-win, which is basically just a Windows installer of Minecraft Forge. So if you are on Windows, I, I'd, I'd recommend you just get this one instead of the Java version as the Java version of the Minecraft installer requires you to have Java installed on your computer. So if you're on Windows, just download the Windows installer. If you're not on Windows, download the Java installer. Once you've downloaded Minecraft Forge, you're going to want to open up Minecraft and actually download the version of 1.10.2 prior to installing Forge for Minecraft 1.10.2. So open up Minecraft, then select Launch Options. Make sure Advanced Settings are enabled. Press on Add New. Then you're going to want to name this Minecraft 1.10.2, for example. Then under the Version drop-down, select this and then select the release 1.10.2 for Minecraft, hit save, then go back to news and press on the drop down button right here which should open up Minecraft 1.10.2, select this and then if this is the first time you are running this version of Minecraft it will also ask you to download it. So just hit play and if you have a fast internet connection this will only take you a couple seconds. So as this is the first time we're running this version, it's downloaded, there we go, Minecraft 1.10.2 has been installed, we can now press quick game and close the launcher and actually install Minecraft Forge. Simply open up the Minecraft Forge installer you've dragged onto your desktop or you, or if it's in your downloads folder for example. Press, just open it up, it may prompt you to run it. Press on OK and then once you've opened up Minecraft Forge, make sure you've selected Install Client, you've ticked this and, you, and then you press OK. This will just download and install Minecraft Forge onto your client and, it, and you should receive this, this exact message. Once you receive this message, press OK and then open up Minecraft again. Now that Minecraft has opened up, we're going to press on the drop down menu right here again to select a different profile. And as Minecraft Forge has just created a new profile called Forge, we're going to select this one. And as this, as this will be the first time we are launching Minecraft Forge, it may take a little bit longer than usual to set everything up. But yeah, it should be a pretty quick boot up. Uh, as you can see, Minecraft Forge has been installed successfully, as you now have this little loading bar. There we go, everything's being loaded. As you can see, Minecraft Forge has been successfully installed. For some reason, we have four mods. Merc okay, there's a Mercury updater. That's pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Minecraft Forge has been installed. And if you're wondering how to install mods onto Minecraft, I'll also give you guys a little tutorial here as well. Hold the Windows key on your keyboard and press R. And this should open up the uh, run um, prompt and then you're going to want to type in percent app data percent full slash dot minecraft and this is basically a very fast way of, ac of accessing your minecraft directory as uh, every time you press windows r this will save and you can just press enter on your keyboard and it will take you directly to your minecraft directory and then you can drag in any mods you want into here that are compatible with minecraft 1.10.2 and the mods will load once you've launched minecraft so thank you very much for watching this this tutorial uh, I hope this helped and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.